Hey guys, what's up? This is Dan Wants Tech here, back after what I have to say was a pretty long hiatus. Today I thought I'd talk about the current state of mobile operating systems, specifically iOS versus Android. It's now 2014, both of these OSs have been around for years, but what specifically do they now have in common, and what, if anything, sets them apart? I've gone through somewhat of a change of heart recently, as a lot of you guys might know, I've always been an iOS fanatic, but due to an interesting turn of events lately, I now have a Nexus 5 running Android KitKat, and I'm actually loving it. Now don't worry, I won't harp on about how much I love Android now. In today's mobile crazy world, both OSs have their pros and cons. It really just comes down to personal preference which one you choose. So I've searched the web, the whole web, to find the general consensus among users and here's what I found. So right now it's May 2014, we have iOS 7 and Android 4.4 KitKat and in a couple of months from now we'll have more details on the next generation of mobile operating systems. So when I think of iOS versus Android, the first thing that comes to mind is how much more customizable Android generally is when compared to iOS, but that may not be to everyone's tastes. Android supports almost complete customization of the user experience, such as changing lock screens, home screen launchers, app icons, adding themes. Um, personally, I love all that freedom, and since Android is an open OS, many manufacturers love that too, but that's where things get confusing. Since Google, unlike Apple, doesn't enforce a default look or feature set to Android, uh, manufacturers can do pretty much whatever they want to the system and add custom UIs, add unnecessary bloatware, gimmicky features, and most of the time just stuff people don't want. It just adds a layer of confusion and fragmentation, which brings me on to my next point. Android has long been known to be a fragmented OS, and unless you own a Nexus device or a Google Play Edition device, which got their updates directly from Google, you're relying on your phone manufacturer to push a version of that update to your phone, which could take months or may never even happen. So this is where the ball swings in Apple's flavor, since they push a brand new update every single year, users know when to expect new software and hardware, and if you have a model from at least two years back, you will get the new OS to some extent. But in Google's credit, they have actually been taking features out of the Android OS and making them into separate apps lately for any user to download. So that keeps new features coming to users with an older version of Android. But whether that quenches your thirst for new stuff or not is your decision. So one thing Google loves to do is tout its open platform over Apple's closed wall garden. Specifically on the two app stores, Apple reviews and curates all the content that users are allowed to download. Google doesn't do this, uh, but this does have its own set of pros and cons. So while there's no doubt Android is more flexible in terms of what apps you can get and what developers can accomplish, but calling it fully open platform is frankly false because you don't have complete control over a device without it being rooted. And Google does sometimes pull content from its stores they deem inappropriate, but even with all those downsides, Android still remains a much more open OS uh, than iOS uh, for both developers and users. But with all that openness and customization comes a price, and that's that despite slower processors on Apple's hardware, uh, iOS feels faster and more fluid to most users. On Android, on the other hand, manufacturers uh, bloat out their OS with software and extra features, and even on the latest and greatest phones, like such as the Galaxy S5 or the HTC One, sometimes get random spikes of lag, and that's just an overall inconsistent experience. So in my personal opinion, the reasons I switched to Android were, in the case of the Nexus 5, a bigger screen than in the current iPhone, a better integration with Google services, which I've come to like a lot better lately, over iCloud, uh, more customization, as I said earlier, and, uh, a notification light maybe? Both OS's are still brilliant in their own right, Android has made great strides in recent years, and Apple has refined iOS into the rock solid powerhouse it is today. Uh, which one's better? Personally I think at the moment Android has a slight edge, but when you choose a new smartphone it's entirely up to you. So that's going to do it for me guys, hope you enjoyed this video, leave a comment below and let me know what you think on iOS versus Android, which one do you prefer? And um, I'll have another new video up next weekend, make sure you guys subscribe for that, and I'll see you then. Due to an interesting turn of events lately, I now have an in- that oh, I now have an Android uh, Nexus 5 with running KitKat. Now have a Nexus- a Nexus 5, I can't speak.